Fatal Frame games are built upon their rituals, and Fatal Frame 4 is no different. This rather unique game in the Fatal Frame series features a ritual known as the Kiraigo, also called the Ceremony of Passage in the English fan translations. It basically means the returning of spirits or the welcoming of spirits, and it's a type of kagura dance that has long been held on Nogetsu Island, the location of the fourth game. But what exactly is this ritual? How did it fail? And what did its failure mean for the people of Rogetsu? Let's take a look. This ritual has been held since ancient times on the island of Rogetsu, located south of Japan's main island, Honshu. As the title of the fourth game, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, suggests, masks play a large role in this game, and they play a large role in the Kiraigo ritual as well. For generations, the Yomotsuki family was in charge of creating masks for this ritual, and the Utsuwa and five Kanade would all wear one throughout. Utsuwa literally means vessel, and this was the figure central to the ritual. Kanade comes from kanaderu, which means to play an instrument or to dance, which is exactly what the kanade did. The five kanade were young girls chosen by the Tsukimori Shrine Maidens for their strong lunar melody. A lunar melody is basically a unique melody that each person possesses that is produced by their soul. These Shrine Maidens were able to hear each person's lunar melody, and so they picked girls with strong melodies to participate in the ritual as kanade. These kanade would be trained for 100 days in preparation of the ritual, where they would each play an instrument, and on the day, they wore deep red kimonos with wreaths on top of their heads. Each girl wore a mask, and these masks were all different depending on the instrument the kanade played. Interestingly, the girls' actual musical abilities didn't matter. They technically weren't the ones playing the instruments. The masks they wore were imbued with properties that, in essence, played the instruments for them, putting the girls in a trance-like state and then taking over for them. And of course, these girls played music for the Utsuwa, the star of the ritual. The Utsuwa was generally a young, beautiful woman, and her job was to act as a medium. She was to become empty, to become a vessel, opening herself up to the spirits and helping to usher them through the gate to the other side. She also wore a special mask that was made using the facial skin of a person who had reached the budding stage of Getsuyu syndrome. It was then purified with moonlight in the Shugendo, often translated as the Hall of the Conscious Mind. This mask, the titular mask of the lunar eclipse, was a key component of the ritual and was designed to help the Utsuwa become empty, thereby allowing her to become pure and at peace. During the ritual, the kanade would play their instruments as the Utsuwa danced. They would help facilitate her state of emptiness and, if successful, the gate to the other side would open in conjunction with the total eclipse. The black moon would reflect upon the waters of the ocean and open a gate, allowing the souls, guided by the empty Utsua, to flow through it. This ritual was held once every 10 years, on September 17th, but there was one performance of unknown date that was fated to be the last time it was ever performed. Or, at least, it should have been. For this ritual, the then head of the Yomotsuki family, Soetsu, decided to make a special mask. He sought to create a true mask of the lunar eclipse, and for his creation, used the face of a person who had bloomed, rather than one who had simply budded. Blooming was the final stage of Getsuyu syndrome, and by far the most dangerous, and Soetsu thus believed that his mask would help the Utsuwa to not just become an empty vessel for the ritual, but would rather cause complete and utter memory loss in an instant, literally making her empty, devoid of what makes a person a person. It would destroy her soul, causing it to vanish into nothingness, and thus making her an actual perfect empty vessel. Of course, this went terribly wrong, 
and caused the first day without suffering. The mask Sōwetsu created was imperfect, and so the Utsuwa did not become an empty vessel. Rather, she bloomed. And of course, when someone blooms, death soon follows. It's believed that the Kanade initially survived the ritual, but they still died sometime soon after, so it's likely they looked upon the blooming face of the Utsuwa, which then killed them. It's unknown how many people died on this first day of suffering, but it caused such widespread destruction that the Kiraigo ritual itself thereafter became taboo, and Soetsu vanished. The remains of his mask disintegrated into ash, and the islanders kept the remains beneath the Shugendo so that they might study what went wrong. And so, untold decades passed until Haibara Shigeto, director of the Haibara Hospital on Rogetsu Island, decided to revive the Kiraigo. Both his wife and daughter suffered from Getsuyu syndrome, and he believed this ancient ritual was the only way to save them. He enlisted the help of Yomotsuki Soya, then head of the former mask-making family, to help him revive the ritual. They used a camera obscura, left behind by Dr. Aso, to try to piece together whatever information they could about the long-lost ritual. The camera helped reveal bits and pieces, and they realised that Sōwetsu had created a failed mask, and that a lunar melody was necessary to open the underground lunar hall, where the ritual took place. The two men, alongside Shigeto's son, Yō, then attempted to revive the ritual. Yō transcribed the lunar melody from the information they were able to gather, and he then kidnapped five girls suffering from Getsuyu syndrome to take part as the Kanade. They planned to use Sakuya, Shigeto's daughter and Yō's sister, whose illness was rapidly progressing as the Utsuwa, in the hopes that this would save her. Soya, who had tested several of the masks he was working on, on his own daughter, giving her Getsuyu syndrome and thus leading to her becoming one of the Kanade, attempted to recreate the mask of the lunar eclipse as well, from the bits and pieces he was able to put together. Naturally, the men were working with imperfect information and a lot of guesswork, and so, again, the Kiraigo failed. At the same time, a kagura was being performed for the public above the underground lunar hall, imitating the actual Kiraigo that was taking place below. When the ritual failed, and Sakuya's mask shattered, the performers in the kagura above ground also collapsed. However, while Sakuya and her kanade initially survived, the performers above instantly died. An autopsy revealed they died of heart attacks, but Shigeto kept this information secret, suspecting that it was related to Sakuya's failed ritual, and officially, all six deaths remained a mystery. This failed kagura led to a mini-crisis, not quite on the level of the Day of Suffering, but numerous people who were present, alongside patients from the hospital, ended up in a state of confusion, and many lost their lives. Sakuya, meanwhile, fell into a coma, and her five kanade, including Soya's daughter, Luka, lost their memories. The girls were placed in the Moonbeam Cave, a location believed to stabilise those who had lost their memories through the filtered moonlight, until Detective Kirishima Choshiro found them a week later, at Luka's mother's request. Sakuya remained in a coma, in a state between life and death, for the next two years, until she too woke up and bloomed. This caused the second day without suffering, but unlike the first time, in which only some of the islanders died, Sakuya wiped out the entire island. Whoever was on Nogetsu on the day Sakuya bloomed was soon killed, although not necessarily immediately. Rumours reached the mainland that numerous islanders had been killed, and the ship Oborumaru set out to discover the truth. There, police feared a terrible epidemic had wiped out the island due to all the corpses covering their faces with their hands, but a two-week investigation led to believe that that was not the case. Still, it remained a mystery as to how the islanders died, and 
The island was thereafter left abandoned. And so it remained, until 10 years after the failed Kidaigo, when two of the Kanade involved in the ritual mysteriously died. The remaining three then went back to the island to uncover just what happened during their childhood and, hopefully, save their own lives. It was Duka who was able to piece Sakuya's shattered mask back together, the mask her father had created, and then, using the correct lunar melody taught to her by her mother, a descendant of the Tsukimori Shrine Maidens, she helped Sakuya and the rest of the spirits trapped on the island to finally move on. What happens after that is unknown, but considering that the island remains empty and Luka has now remembered the lunar melody necessary to soothe the moon and spirits anyway, it's probably safe to say that somehow all is well on that now peaceful island. It's unlikely the Kidaigo was revived because, well, literally nobody lives there anymore. But what do you guys think about this one? Are there any other lore videos you'd like to see? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.